57 ranges in the Filipino wow. martial arts, many different striking angles. Uh, and here's our footwork. First started off in the um, martial arts in 1984, just more through uh, personal interest. Um, at that time, I was uh, 20 years old, just moved uh, down to Vancouver from the uh, Okanagan, and I was in a weightlifting gym and saw a brochure there, and that's kind of what started me on that uh, journey, if you like, because it is kind of a journey of a lifetime. Back then, um, I didn't really hear about the Filipino martial arts, but that's something that came just about, uh, about eight uh, years later, um, in 1992, and that started that journey. So tactical fighting is my own school. Um, so I became an instructor under Paul Vunak in um, 94. I was an apprentice instructor, then I went to a phase one instructor and a full instructor. So because I kind of had a love for the arts, it kind of brought me into the teaching area now. So I was working part-time and teaching, um, and then in 2000 I just quit my job and went full-time teaching. Well, we always start off with a lot of this, the base motions to give them an understanding of personal protection. That's our main thing. So somebody grabs you here, kick to the groin, look where my head is now, boom, punch. Yep, yeah, so you keep coming into there. Uh -huh. Now once you get to this elbow, you can grab somebody. Now you can throw a knee into the low line and an elbow here again. Boom, right. Around, grab this arm. Right, now headbutt. Boom, now spin in and attack there, for example. So it involves everything from footwork, which is the key motion and movement, get them moving around, because that's the number one thing. Somebody comes at you, if you freeze, you're kind of done. So we start engaging the footwork, and then we start engaging the handwork, whether we have a weapon or whether we're into the empty hand. And that will start to form a foundation for you. It's a very uh, um, broad world. There's probably 50 different styles. There's lots of, uh, there's like, and a lot of them come from some of the masters as well. So you'll get like Vela Bray, he was a master of the Philippines, so he kind of has his own style. Lacoste, John Lacoste has his own style. So it's predicated around that. And you get different categories as well. Some of the instructors, they preferred uh, a long weapon. Some preferred a short weapon. Some preferred a long and a short weapon. So that's where all the different styles and categories kind of originated from. Come in to attack you and you hit my hand, that's going to dislodge or drop Got that weapon. It. To hit my stick here, right there. Do it again as hard as you can. Yow! That's going to be on my hand. That's going to dislodge the weapon. Got it. Tight. Now I can strike. Paul Vunak was a student under Danny Nasanto. Dan was a student under Bruce Lee. And Dan was also Bruce's training partner as Bruce was putting together all these different martial arts. So you'll see in some of Bruce's movies where he had like the double sticks and some of the weapons going. That's where that kind of uh, originated from for him. For us, uh, we always go back to what we call the mother art. So Kali is the mother art. It's kind of the first art that was there. And then through time, Eskrima came in. And then our niece is another uh, primary art. Sometimes the arts are also broken down into the north, the south, and the central islands as well there. So for me, Kali is the best. Um, it's kind of the most combative art as well. Uh, that's why I love it for those personal protection reasons. There is no pressure when you do come in. So it's, it's a very friendly environment. All the other students are very helpful as well. What's the best way for our viewers to contact you? My website, just tacticalfighting.ca. Uh, you'll find some information on there. And of course, you know, just contacting me through there, um, coming down to my school here in Coquitlam, um, that'll get you going. And of course, we have other um, students over the years as well. Like I say, one of my instructors, Trevor, is out in uh, Richmond, if that's a better area for you. One of my um, uh, top students, a full instructor, Jesse, is downtown. He has a studio called Agent Fire. And another student of mine, Mike, he's out in Abbotsford. So there's, you know, a few people around as well. And that's another journey people can get into as well if they're interested in the teaching of the arts, which takes time, but we have those types of programs available for them. Straighten them out, though. Keep that dome. Now, cop. Yes, again. Good. You see the power? Yes. See, look at the power. Right. Now that shot there, you're hitting here. So when you hit, boom, so that's going to ring their bell. Got it. So again, your empty hand is very important. It's all really about personal safety. And that's my number one goal is to be able to pass that along to people. There's nothing better than a student coming in and saying, oh, God, thank you so much. You know, you taught me these techniques and I use this and that, that saved me one day. Awesome. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs>